In the past, I've done a couple of podcasts for Faking Fluids and Flow in Composer. In this podcast, I'll show you a few tips using your Composer files to render out layers for compositing in third-party programs like this Adobe After Effects. This is not going to be an After Effects tutorial, but just some tips to help. So this is basically what we're going to shoot for, get this composited like this. And to do that, I'm going to go back and first start with my document properties. And I want to set up my scene so that my document properties are 338.667 millimeters by 190.5, and that's in portrait mode. This is basically half of HD resolution in Photoshop, and it works out well with labels and annotations. I'm setting my default document properties the same, so all my files come out the same way. Now I'm going to just save this animation out, and I'll go check the animation box, 30 frames a second. I've actually rendered this out before, so I'm just going to write back over it and use the same name. So that's rendering out. Next, I'm actually going to take and just separate using a selection set that I had, the seal. I could have done this a couple different ways. I'm just going to hide this in the meantime because I want my annotations and then hide everything else except for the annotations and bring back the seal. Also turned off the ground there. And I'm going to save that out as a separate layer again too. i put that in the plunger layer here. And we're going to call that seal. Basic again, right over the old files here. And lastly, do the same thing for the little pipe. That's going to be basically the alpha channel where the fluid goes in. Now, I could have just texture mapped right on this pipe too. That's uh, an option that, again, we've done in the past. So now in After Effects here, we can see the different layers. I've got the pipe and the seal. And then we just composite them all together. And I've also added some fluid here that I got from online. It's just some water running. And basically I've used that to just change the hue and saturation and then masks and after effect. We could have used these arrows or not. I've done those in, in Composer as well. But it works out pretty well to composite like this because you have a lot of control over your timing and control over what you're going to do and show and you can add things. Hope this helps. Good luck.